Hey everyone, so I hope you all just understood what I just said, but today I am so excited because I will finally be answering all of your questions about how I actually make these underwater videos. I receive so many questions every time that I post and I just really appreciate all of your interest and curiosity. I'm just so happy that you like them. I started out making these videos in 2020, so it's been almost exactly two years now. There have been so many new people joining me and following me along in this little underwater journey, so I thought that the best way to answer all of your questions would be in this YouTube video. Now I'm starting off with my number one received question, which is how I don't get water up my nose. So I would definitely struggle with water going up my nose if it weren't for nose clips. So these are the types of nose clips that I have. This one is made of wire with a rubber coating. This is my favorite type of nose clip to use. It's basically just a plastic band that goes over the top of your nose. People also ask me if water gets into my ears and it actually doesn't. I think it's because of how regularly I swim. I also get asked if the chlorine hurts my eyes and yes, that is something that I cannot avoid. It still hurts very much. People are always curious to know how I film these videos and it's actually quite simple. I use my GoPro Hero 9 to film. I put it on the edge of the pool and then just start recording. A lot of the time I get asked how deep this pool actually is. So this pool is 5 meters deep and it's a dive pool so it's really nice and big. I can swim to the bottom of this pool. The water pressure does hurt my ears a bit sometimes, but here's me just swimming down to the bottom to set up my camera. People are always curious to know how long I can actually hold my breath. So I can swim a 70 meter under while holding my breath. I can also hold my breath for a minute and a half. I've never really tried any longer than that. But in this next clip, I'm going to swim a little bit over 30 meters under and I want you to test yourself to see how long you can hold your breath. So get ready because we're going to start in three, two, one, go. Never attempt underwater breath holding unless you're professionally supervised and trained. That is really important, but I assume that you're above water right now, so that's okay. We've just reached halfway. Good job if you're still hanging in there. We're almost at the end. There's only a few more meters left. Sorry, I swam out of frame, but now I think I just touched the wall, so congratulations if you just made it. Let me know how you went in the comments, I'd love to know. The reason that I can stay perfectly underneath the surface of the water is because of sculling. This video is a great example because as you can see, I'm kind of using my hands as paddles and I'm pushing a little bit away from the surface so that I don't float through it. And also I'm pushing myself forwards with my hands to give the effect that I'm walking. At the beginning of this clip, you can see that I'm using my hands to spin and I continue using my hands and arms to move myself through the water. For this video in particular, I wanted to stay at the bottom of the pool, so I did have to blow out some air before going down so that I wouldn't float up. The skulls that I use to make my underwater videos are actually skills that I developed in my training as an artistic swimmer. So I do artistic swimming, which was formerly known as synchronized swimming, competitively and am currently part of the Australian national team. 
a lot of the time people confuse my underwater videos for artistic swimming. So these are two very different things and in artistic swimming we use our sculling to get our bodies out of the water as high as we possibly can without ever touching the bottom. I edit all of my videos myself using CapCut and some videos I like to edit more than others. For example, this one I changed the colour of my swimsuit throughout the video and I think it just gave it a really cool effect. Usually I try to find songs that match really well with my movements, so this makes you guys think that I'm listening to music while filming, but actually there's no music playing and this is what it sounds like. I often get asked how there's no one in the background of my videos and this isn't always the case. Some days I'm very lucky to get an empty background. But other days, if maybe the pool's busy, it can be really hard to get a clear shot. This video is so funny to me because I managed to do the whole video without anyone in the background and then this man came kicking in right at the end, but I still posted it, I think it was really funny. Now, onto our last question for today. Am I a mermaid? My answer to that is yes. Yes, I am a mermaid. Clearly, mermaids are real because I am one. So, yeah, there you go. There's your answer. I am a mermaid and yeah, I do have a mermaid tail. all of your questions have been answered if not just leave a comment with your question and i'll be happy to answer if you enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe for future videos and also follow me on my social media we just hit a hundred thousand followers on instagram i can't even believe it thank you so so much i'll see you next time bye